Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming this makeup look for you guys and I'm going to be using on my eyes the Kylie Jenner the Royal Peaches palette. I'm so excited to finally put this into a YouTube video for you guys and I it's quite a sultry smoky sort of look so I'm going to take you guys step by step through the look. If you want to see how I achieved this amazing evening out clubbing kind of look with the palette then just keep watching so as you can tell i've already started by doing my foundation my contouring and my highlighting and just really prepping my skin just to show you guys how i do the eye look when everything else is already done i have left my brows for this tutorial so you will see me do those so the first thing i'm picking up is my mac 224 brush if you guys watch my videos, you will notice that this is my Holy Grail eyeshadow blending brush. I really hardly even reach for absolutely anything else. So I'm just opening this beautiful packaging. And then the first color that I'm picking up is Sorbet. So now I'm going to be placing Sorbet sort of all over the lid, but concentrating most of the color in the crease of the lid. Um, just because I want to create like an even tone to start building color on top of. So yes, as I said, that is sorbet. It's super important to make sure that all of the eyeshadow is blended out properly. You wanna create a very, very soft color on the eye before building up all the other colors otherwise it just doesn't have the same effect next color I'm picking up is called Sandy from the same palette and this is quite a beautiful terracotta color. In the palette it looks like a little bit brown and muddy but on the eye it's a beautiful orange type shade. So I'm just focusing most of the shadow on the outer corner of my eye and sweeping it inward and this is just using with using the blending brush it creates quite a natural sort of blend and it's really really easy with the 224. I highly recommend this brush by the way. You guys have got to get it. So the thing to keep in mind with this is to keep the shape of the eyeshadow the same on both eye. You can see that it's kind of like a winged eyeshadow look that we are going for. Um, so make sure that that shape is grip is the same on each eye and that you're blending it out really really well so it allows for other colors to come in later in the tutorial. I'm then just picking up my MAC 217, which is also an amazing blending brush. And I'm just making sure that there are no harsh lines with that transition color. Because if that creates harsh lines, none of the other colors will sit nicely and all sort of blend together in the look and in the way that I want it to. So the last color that I'm, well not the last, the next color that I'm picking up is Cinnamon. Now this is such a gorgeous shade. I absolutely love it. It looks exactly how cinnamon should look um, with a little bit more red, which is quite nice. So this color I'm focusing mainly on the outer corner and sweeping in ever so slightly, but all of that color concentration is on the outer corner. So you'll notice with this eye look, I keep swapping between blending brushes and that is purely because one blending brush is nothing on it and the other brush is full of product. So I'm just using my clean, blending brush just to make sure there's no harsh lines to keep everything quite streamlined I don't want to have any weird lines on my face at all because my eyes are the focus it's definitely a good idea to have the entire eye just beautifully blended and all work together so I'm just picking up the same blending brush my 224 from MAC and I'm going into Crush which is a very pink color. It's almost like a Barbie sort of pink color with quite a lot of shimmer in it. So I'm just placing that shadow just below the crease and slightly onto the lid. I wanna try and get the color as intense as possible. So I haven't wet the brush at all for any of these eyeshadows. That's how amazing the pigment is. 
but I'm just making sure I'm sweeping that pink to try and diffuse the area between where there is no shadow yet and there is a lot of orange shadow. And then I'm going in and obviously doing the exact same thing on the other eye. So now I've picked up a really flat and hard sort of um, eyeshadow brush and I've wet my brush slightly and I've gone into the shade Queen Bee which is a really metallic -y gold sort of colour and I absolutely love this shade and I'm just placing it all over my lid to create all the sort of attention to be on my actual lid. I mean you can even tell by looking at the video how shimmery that is and the difference between my two eyes. I'm just making sure that I'm doing this in sort of a patting motion. I'm not focusing too much on blending it, just slightly out because I want all of that glitter focus to be, as I said, just on my lid. So finally I'm taking a little pencil brush and I'm going into the shade Duke which is almost like a burgundy red. It is such a beautiful colour and I'm just running that along the base of my line just to give the bottom of my line some more definition and it also brings out the blue in my eyes. By the way, if you guys have blue eyes, this is the most incredible palette ever. All of these sort of ready orangey colours always bring blue forward. And I've actually just realized that in every single tutorial, I'm almost doing the same colors. I need to change it up a bit. I really, really do. So I'm just going and I'm mixing in with that color. I'm mixing the shade Cinnamon again. And just to bring it all together. And I have, you'll notice now in the video, that with the pencil brush, I have taken the side of my eye and lifted it slightly to create almost a red line. This is just going to make my eyes look a lot bigger. And then I will eventually blend that out. But I love the way that that looks and how it just amplifies the color in my eye so much. I'm now just diffusing that line out just to make it all work together. Next thing I'm picking up is my absolutely favorite eyebrow product and it is dipped down by MAC. It is a fluid line. So I actually love to do my eyebrows with the MAC lip brush. I know that may sound a little bit crazy, but I absolutely love the tip of it. I love how precise it is. And because I have really big brows, it does just get in between all of those hairs and make a really beautiful defined line. So I'm going to speed this part up and I will do another brow tutorial for you all if you're interested. If you do want another brow tutorial, please comment down below and I will do a full tutorial for you all. So I did quickly just jump off camera and apply some false lashes. So I am using the faux lashes by um, Forever 21. I love these. I did purchase them in the UK, but I think they're available here. And then I'm just grabbing one of my favorite essence mascaras. And that is going to feature in a video really soon. So keep out for that. Um, but I'm basically just applying the mascara to my bottom lashes and also to the top lashes just to blend the lash with the actual false lash as you do you know you always get that weird ass gap so I'm just trying to limit that gap and making sure right there that my eyelashes all stuck together properly I love the way lashes look I don't do them often but I absolutely love the way I look with lashes so the next thing I'm grabbing was actually a glitter pot from MAC but I have since decanted it and used it quite a bit. But you could use any sort of loose glitter sort of color thing. So I've decided to pick up the Kylie Jenner brush that came with the palette. And I have wet my brush slightly. And I've just dipped into the glitter. And I'm really going to focus this glitter on the inner corner of my eye. Just 
to add a little bit of extra dimension to the gold that we've already guessed there. So as I said, I'm just focusing it all on that inner eye corner and just doing it in a dabbing motion to make sure all that glitter sticks effectively to my eye. And I'm obviously going to do the same thing on the other eye. So the next thing I've done is just grabbed a big sort of puffy brush and I'm using it just under the eye to just remove whatever fallout may be there and to just buff out whatever powder or whatever is settled under my eye. So now I'm going to go in with my absolutely favorite liquid lipstick. If you guys watch me, you know how much I love these. And this is the SAC liquid lipstick. It is in the shade LLP 017. And it is a beautiful, beautiful um, bright It reminds me so much of summer. And I'm totally craving summer at the moment. I don't know about you guys. Comment down below if you've had enough of winter because I'm dying. And I know in the UK and America, it is super hot and all these YouTube videos I watch, I'm getting so frustrated that we are sitting here freezing and everyone else can do beautiful summer glam looks and here we are. So I decided that this look is going to be a little bit more cheerful for our winter days. So I'm just applying this all over the lip. I am overdrawing my top lip slightly with the applicator just because I hate the way my top lip looks. So I do overdraw it slightly but not too much. And I'm just making sure that the color is really, really solid all out, all throughout my whole life. up my same 224 eyeshadow brush and I'm going back into the Queen Bee shade which is that really gold metallic -y shade and I'm just placing a little bit of that eyeshadow in the center of my top lip and bottom lip just to kind of tie it all in and to create a little bit more of definition on my lips and I love doing this I do it often in a lot of videos and absolutely no look would be complete without setting it all in place making sure that all those colors have just set and nothing moves around during the day. Thank you guys all so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this and you like the sort of way that I do tutorials, please hit the like button below. Just a little disclaimer, this video was not sponsored at all by Kylie Jenner Cosmetics. I did purchase it with my own money and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is an amazing palette. I can get so many different looks out of it and hopefully I can share some of the other looks that I get for the palette with you guys real soon. So comment down below if you'd like to see another video using the same palette or if you would like to just see more tutorials like this from me. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!